Bonjourissimo gamers, Cardi here, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Not gonna lie to you guys, uh, Stoops mentioned that I pointed the camera a lot, and now I don't know what to do with my hands. I just, I talk a lot with my hands, and now I'm, I'm a little weird about it. I don't know. <laughs> Lads, lattices, this is what we're talking about today. This is gonna be the absolute cheapest, cheapest, cheapest way to build your 1415 alts in a 4x3. If you are buying any jewelry at all, this is definitely the way you're going to want to build it. It's going to give you an insanely high amount of stats, and it will cost literally nothing using this method. Okay, well, maybe not like literally nothing, but it's going to be extremely cheap. But before we get into it, you guys know the drill. If you enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them and check me out on Twitch. If you are hearing my voice, write meow. I am already live. Honestly, I'm still in clown prison. It's Wednesday. We're starting it all over again. So <laughs> <laughs> we back into prison, uh, prison cell boys. Be sure to click that link in the description box down below. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, and play some video games with, I would highly recommend it. Everyone is very, very welcoming. It's very, very active. Check it out. Click that link. Now let's just jump into this video. All right, so for this video, this is going to help experienced players and new players uh, because realistically, I hadn't thought about this. And if you have a bunch of 14, 15 alts, maybe outside of your main six, you probably don't want to spend as much money on them. Uh, or maybe you are just building your f your first six characters for the very first time and you want to build them in jewelry so they can you know, be pretty much set until like clown, to be honest, and even further than that. Uh, this is definitely the way you're going to want to build them. Now, this is the syllabus. What I'm going to be doing here, uh, we're going to be going for two things in this video. I'm going to explain to you why this is cheap, and then I'm going to put a build together with you guys, because obviously if this is being watched by newer players, I've never really done something where I've actually put a build together with you guys to kind of show you what I'm thinking about and how I do the build. Uh, so we're going to have the double whammy, but first, for the more experienced players, I'm going to just be explaining why this is extremely cheap. So, the way this build works is that you're going to want to aim for a minimum of a 6-5 stone. That is extremely, extremely low. However, to make this build dirt cheap i would aim for a six six stone the reason for this is that as you'll notice there's a bunch of pieces that have blank slots on them except for one piece that needs to be a three five now this piece can be like literally dirt cheap if you get a six six stone because if you get a six six stone then this turns into a three four which means this build will probably cost under 10k without fions right a 6-6 six, six stone is very, very easy to get. It's like a 30% chance, I believe, on a relic stone, uh, which again, it's not the highest, but 30% is much more realistic than trying to hit like a 7-7 seven, seven or something kind of crazy. Now, why is this the absolute best way to build your character? Well, stats, just straight up stats. When you are sorting jewelry, because you have so many pieces here, see where it says blank engravings and there's so many slots that have a blank engraving, that means you're getting a plus five piece and the other slot is dead. Now, this method is going to require one legendary engraving, uh, but I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of people have Legendary Grudge. It doesn't require a Legendary Class engraving, it just requires one Legendary engraving. And because Grudge was getting botted like crazy, I don't think it's too, too nuts to think about the fact that you might have Legendary Grudge on your account. And so when you're building your character, because you're going to have that one Legendary engraving that will work across your entire account, you can sort by quality. When you're looking up pieces, you sort by quality, and your character is going to have insanely, insanely high quality jewelry. And the reason why this is important is because quality can literally do enough damage to replace an engraving. Depending on the class, and obviously there's going to be more specialization classes that get affected like this, quality could literally be equal to the same amount of damage as an extra engraving. When I did my test in a video in one of my previous videos, I tested uh, Deathblade and Shadowhunter in a 5 by 3 in their best installed engravings with about like... 50 to 60 quality jewelry and then I compared it with a 4x3 of their best on engravings with 85 to 95 quality jewelry the higher quality jewelry performed the exact 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 same as having 5x3 in a mid-tier quality which means if you use this method to build your, your characters, if you use this method to build your accounts, obviously it's not the same for all classes, you know, swiftness classes the extra engraving will just give you more damage it just it is what it is, however Having super high quality will buff your damage greatly. And I'm gonna be real, you're not gonna have to worry about replacing this jewelry until Clown or later if you really wanna sit in the 4x3 until Brawl or whatever it is. This will be super powerful for a very, very, very long time. All right, now I'm gonna actually put a set together just to show you guys how what I'm thinking about when I'm putting a set together. And we're gonna be constantly like moving between windows, so this might be a little bit weird. Uh, but this is the syllabus. So what am I trying to get here? I need three 
plus five on my class engraving. And so what I have on my other monitor here is the engravings I'm planning on going for. I'm not going to be actually buying the pieces just because I am uh, extremely poor right now. Uh, and I have no Fions because I've just been pushing a bunch of characters into Clown. <laughs> but let's just pretend I'll make a nice little shopping list. Make sure my interest list is closed. And either way, this is how I shop for my jewelry. So I have my builder here. I have my... Uh, that my sim my stone realistically i always like to put a stone that's realistic or unless i absolutely need it uh so i have a six plus six stone in this so this is the bare minimum of what i would need or i guess a little bit higher than the bare minimum but what i'm accepting uh and then this one i'm gonna aim for so i'm trying to go for my surge jewelry first and i'm trying to not spend a lot of money because it's gonna have a dead engraving on it the things i want to make sure is that it's not going to give me a malice except for defense reduction i'm going to be honest guys i i don't really mind defense reduction all my characters have defense reduction no malice is better don't be like me but it is what it is sometimes if i could save a lot of gold to get defense reduction you know i'll eat it you know what i mean so uh, this is an insanely high ring. It's only 900 gold. This is a very, very good deal. It only has one malice, and so I will pin it. Uh, it will go into my interest list, and then I'm going to just put it into my builder. So this is a ring with plus five surge. So we put it into here, and then it has one movement speed malice, and so I'm going to ping it in here. The reason it's super important to always put your malices in this builder is because it will show up on the bottom, and so it'll make sure that you didn't mess up and ac accidentally... Uh, eat a malice now for the stone I don't know what the malice is yet because I haven't rolled it yet but the way I do it is I always roll a defense reduction stone I always 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 buy defense reduction stones I will not roll any other stone because in the weird psychotic event that like I roll a 9-7 but I get a plus 5 in malice for some reason I'd rather have defense reduction malice than any other malice because any other malice just makes me sad. And so I'm just going to put that plus four. Let's just say the stone went horribly, but I don't have the full defense reduction. So we'll put that plus four and I'll try to stay away from defense reduction jewelry. Realistically, I might also pick some pieces from the recent prices just because the way I build jewelry is I try to not build it all in one shot. Uh, especially when I'm doing my build like this. This is like the end of the week, and so everyone's uh, weeklies have just been reset as of the filming of this video. And so obviously here there aren't any pieces, uh, there aren't any earrings that are at reasonable prices because all the earrings actually have some other stat on it. Or there's people like this who are hardcore coping and putting pieces at 12k. If you look at recent prices here, uh, there are super high quality earrings that were sold at much, much lower prices. Uh, we have, you know, some pieces here. This earring is fantastic and it's was sold for 850 gold so for the sake of this video just so i can actually show you guys how to put a build together uh i am gonna just like pick off the recent prices list just because i you know i'm not gonna like wait till tomorrow or something <laughs> like it doesn't really make sense so in this scenario i would probably take this realistically uh, i would want the most amount of quality on my earrings and so trying to get that highest quality possible on them is important uh sticking out for some 90 plus pieces isn't necessarily a bad thing but i mean this is 290 spec that is massive and that is going to be another plus five to my surge and so we go on to the calculator here i'm going to go on my earring surge plus five and then the malice on this was uh attack power reduction plus two The last piece, I saw another ring here that was at a very good quality uh, that wasn't too expensive. We have here at 87 quality, uh, again, 889 gold. We have this one that gives attack speed 3, move speed 2. So the what I would do here is just keep in mind that there's another one. Uh, and then see how it goes, because this is like significantly cheaper. It's only 400 gold difference, and I mean, you know, it's 400 gold between 800 gold. It's not really the end of the world which one of these you pick. Uh, and so I would probably just, you know, get the one that right now... This is less malice, so just to play it safe, I'll just take the uh, last ring with a two movement speed malice because I know that's not going to put me over. Uh, and the two movement speed malice is just less than the plus three, and it gives me more room on my other pieces. Now, the last two pieces I'm going to need to get are going to have to be a uh, plus five in Ambush Master. And then I will have to get a plus four and plus three in Grudge because that's what I'm missing. So we're going to start with the... Uh, I think I'm going to actually go for the more expensive piece first, because that'll probably give me... It, like, I'll have more flexibility with the plus 5 piece. So we're going to go for the plus 4, plus 3. Now, I know here it says 3, 5, but again, you have to remember, this is a 6, 5 stone. So this could be a plus 4 in my build. So looking at these pieces, uh, there's some pretty hardcore copium on a lot of these pieces. 
Uh, one piece that actually stands out to me that is really nice here is actually this earring right here. Uh, the Ambush Master for Grudge 3 for 5k. I think that's a really, really reasonable price. Uh, again, it frees, I have an earring slot open, and so I would probably take this, and then I'm going to actually go back and replace the other movement speed reduction ring. This is what I was talking about before, right? I'm not sure what I need yet because I haven't done the build, but you just keep a mental repertoire of what you want to buy. Uh, you could even interest list it if you want. You can just like ping it and then remove it later. Uh, but this is a very good earring at a very reasonable price. Again, it's on meta engraving, so this piece is going to be a little bit more expensive. But so far, we've spent literally nothing. We're still well below the 10K mark uh, for an insanely good quality 4x3 set. So we're going to keep this, and this is going to be Ambush Master 4 Grudge 3. We put it onto the sheet. It's super important. You always put it onto the sheet uh, because otherwise you're going to be sad, I promise you. Now, we should have, yeah, see, we have movement speed reduction. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually go back. We're going to put Surge 5 back into the search thing here. We're going to remove the movement speed reduction ring that we took here. We're going to unpin this, and we're going to repin this one right here. And then we're going to change this as attack speed reduction 3. And so on the ring that, have, that had move speed reduction 2, because that's what we just replaced, we're going to put attack speed reduction 3. And we still have some space to play with here. We could get a pretty nice piece for the necklace because again, the necklace is now going to only require Ambush Master 5. And so we have a ton of space to play with here. Now again, always sorting by quality is important because you just want the highest possible piece you can get. Uh, you do need it to be a necklace, however. So you're gonna wanna put spec and then here we'll put crit as well. And we're going to try and get a good solid piece here. Now, we could just go for something like this. This is a fantastic piece. This is 5k uh, at 91 quality. This is probably what I would go for because, again, it's not that expensive. And you're still, like, you know, spending, like, you know, 10, 12k for a set this powerful is kind of insane. Uh, you could have a little bit more forethought than I did and not put, uh, put it on neck. Uh, and really, it depends on how much you want to spend. We have a piece here at 74 quality. And 74 quality is still very, very, very high for 1500, right? What I would personally go for, though, is I would go for this. Uh, this is 91 quality, insanely, insanely high quality. For 5k, it's not that much gold, in my opinion. Uh, you're not really breaking the bank on that. And yeah, I'll just grab this bad boy, and then we just put it into the simulator. Ambushmaster 5. Hopefully, this doesn't push over my movement speed. It does. So actually, this necklace does not work. We're going to take that on. See, this is why you always put it in the calculator. I wasn't sure how much movement speed I was at. This thing gets shot. It's out of there. We're not taking it. It's freaking stinky. We're going to look for another piece. Now, see, this is where you could fall into a trap. If you notice here, there's 76 quality for 5k, right? Uh, and this is on defense reduction. But if you go to the next page, we have that piece we were just looking at. The 1500 at 74, pretty much the same stats. You could obviously just wait for another piece to be posted because realistically, if you look at recent prices, another piece will be posted at a very high quality and you will find it for a very good price. But because this piece doesn't fit, you could go back and rearrange some other piece of jewelry or again, wait for some other pieces. If you find if you want to get 90 plus, buy the pieces slowly as they come in uh, that are insanely high quality. If you're trying to do this more like in one sitting or in two sittings, and you kind of just want to get it done with. Uh, that's OK, too. And then you could just, you know, buy this piece, which is still very, very, very high quality. Uh, this is also on movement speed one. So actually, this is also not a piece that we can use. So in this scenario, I guess we'd either have to go with a defense reduction. Again, I don't mind defense reduction malice. I know this is probably terrible advice for a build video, but just don't take damage and you're fine. <laughs> I've never really felt like I've had too much problems running defense reduction. Uh, so I guess in this scenario, I could just take this one right here. Uh, and then I would just take the defense reduction malice. Again, you don't have to do this. You could just wait for pieces to come on uh, that don't give you a malice. That is the smarter thing to do. But again, just for the sake of the video, this would be the completed build. If I was being impatient, I would just buy that necklace. I'll be honest with you guys. But you don't really need to. If you're just building your character for the first time, so you just got into the game, you're building your main for the first time, you could wait for uh, some better pieces. Uh, because again, if you look at recent history for all these pieces, there are very, very cheap pieces being posted all the time at a very, very high quality. Uh, what I do after this, once everything's done, I just purchase everything. And again, this is a very, very cheap build, right? You have 10K, and then we spent another 1,000, so 11,000. Yeah, we spent like 12K. This is our, has already been sold. Again, I had to pick from a different list just because there wasn't any options. Uh, but this is disgustingly cheap. This is insanely cheap. 
I spent like under 12k and my character is going to have an insanely high amount of swiftness. will probably be at like 1650-ish or something like that in, in, uh, in specialization, sorry. And I barely spent any gold. Now, obviously, you're still going to have to pay for the Fions. There's no way around that. There's no secret tips and tricks and whatever the hell you have to pay for Fions. It just it is what it is. Uh, but this is for the player who has already crossed that threshold. You know what I mean? You've come to terms with the fact that Fions exist. You've accepted them. Life goes on. And so now you want to build your character the most efficient way possible. This by far has to be the best way to build your character in 4.3 because, again, having insanely high stats makes the world of difference and i wish i had known about this method when i was building my characters in their 4-3 uh because i've done some weird thing where i took two class engravings that were in in legendary quality and then did some weird stuff with you know it was it was a mess this is much much better way freaking cheaper like significantly cheaper and the damage is going to be astronomically higher because you have like near perfect stats on every single one of your characters that you build using this method I want to thank the homie Walperga because I am actually not the one who came up with this method. He actually made this method when he was starting to build his alts because he plays a lot of characters. And once he was on his like ninth, tenth alt or whatever, he didn't want to like break the bank building these characters, but he still wanted to build them because he's a gamer and he doesn't like playing unbuilt characters. And so he actually shared this with me to share with you guys. So big shout out to the homie Walperga. Thank you so much for sharing this with myself and also with the community. As always, there will be a link to the actual, I guess, uh, chassis or the schematic, the build that he made. Uh, the original picture you saw with the idea of how to put it together. That picture will be linked in the description box as well as the calculator I used on in today's video. Uh, so you guys can build your characters yourselves. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. What do you guys think about this? Have you guys tried it out? Have you built a big juicer? Who did you use your power pass on and who have you boosted so you can use this way of building on that character? Let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them. And check me out on Twitch. You're now legally obliged to come watch me get the cheeks clapped by the Klusi. You know I'm in prison, you know I'm being held hostage, you know we about to clap him. Honestly, I think week two of Clown is going to be freaking hype. I think it's going to go a lot smoother, and I am so excited to start oh, doing more Clown. It's so fun. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking some time to hang out with me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.